Let's turn our attention now to Egypt now. Once again, a confusing situation there. There is a power struggle appearing to escalate between the new president and the parliament on one side and the military council and high court on the other. Sunday, the Egyptian president, Mohamed Morsi, called the dissolved parliament back. But on Monday, the Egyptian Supreme Court reaffirmed its decision to invalidate the parliamentary election, calling it final and binding. So what's going on? On the one hand, the president is saying to the parliament and parliamentarians, come back. To the, to the parliament building, and on the other, the high court is saying not so fast. Uh, Mohamed Fahmi joins us now by phone from Cairo, where extra riot police have been sent to surround the parliament building. So have the uh, members of parliament, Mohamed, returned to work in Cairo? What's the latest? Well, tomorrow they're convening at 12.30 p.m. Uh, for the first session, but also the administrative court is... Uh, seeing 25 cases brought against Morsi's decision, and they may actually overrule his president, presidential decision tomorrow, and that may actually take the situation to a political showdown. We know the Muslim Brotherhood is calling for a million-man protest tomorrow in Tahrir Square in support of Morsi's decisions. And on the other hand, many legal experts I've spoken to are furious about his decision, calling it an insult to the judicial system in Egypt and that he has no right to overrule the high court's decision. And that's where the debacle is right now, Hala. So parliamentarians uh, uh, of this Islamist-led parliament elected in November are going to go back to work as a result of, of President Morsi's uh, decision to reconvene this, this uh, body? Yes, and they have actually sent CNN a statement uh, announcing that they will discuss one topic tomorrow, and that will be the court's decision on why they dissolved the parliament, and that's what they're going to be discussing tomorrow. Of course, there's extra security around the parliament in case there is uh, the protests go out of hand, especially that the country is divided. There are many people who are angry at this decision, and there's another protest on the other side of town, which is a pro scaf protest, calling uh, the Muslim Brotherhood to uh, stop protesting. They're against Morsi. There's actually one case that has been brought to the administrative court uh, calling for toppling the new president. Let me quickly ask you this. What's the situation at the parliament building now? Earlier, I read that there was a heavy military presence, but that the military left. What's the situation now? Are they going to prevent people from entering the building? Uh, it's unclear if they will prevent people from entering the building, but uh, the military indeed did leave from outside the, uh, the parliamentary uh, building. But there is presence of riot police there uh, in case uh, something goes out of hand. But in general, tomorrow is going to be a big day. Uh, possibly a confrontation, a political confrontation, let's say, if the administrative court actually overrules the high court's decision. And may, many people say that will be an embarrassment to the new president who is trying to prove that he has full powers uh, over the military and that he has taken his legislative powers and that the parliament will convene uh, as he decided. Of course, this is now a situation of following again closely what happens in Egypt as this power struggle continues, it seems. Mohamed Fahmi is live in Cairo. Thanks very much. Staying in Egypt, dressed in white prison outfits behind a steel cage, the sons of ousted Egyptian leader Hosni Mubarak appeared Monday in a Cairo courtroom. They are facing new corruption charges. Uh, there you have one of his sons, specifically accusations of insider stock trading. Prosecutors say Mubarak's sons acquired millions of dollars using insider information about a bank sale, among other charges. A corruption trial against the two sons a month, a month ago was dropped because the statute of limitations had expired on that specific charge.